been celebrating transformed lives. The Holy Spirit still working today as powerfully as he worked 2,000 years ago. Maybe that as you've been watching or listening, something in you says, I need my life to be transformed. Maybe you need to be changed from the inside out. Well, I've got good news for you, you can be today. 
Jesus Christ hung on a cross and died for your sin. He rose from the dead to give you new life. He's now alive at the Father's right hand. And His Holy Spirit is available to come into your life and change you. And maybe you've never had an encounter with God or any kind of relationship with God. I'd like to invite you to join us in a prayer in just a moment where we're going to invite God to come in by His Holy Spirit. Or maybe you've had some kind of experience with God, but right now you know things are not right in your life. Then I'd love to invite you to join us as we pray, opening up our hearts and ask the Holy Spirit to come into your life again. We're going to pray together a simple prayer. We're going to join in all with one voice so that people at home can join us where they're sitting. Let's pray this prayer together from the heart. Father God, I thank you that you sent Jesus to die on the cross for my sins. I believe that you raised him from the dead that I might live a transformed life. This day, I turn from my sin and turn to you. Thank you for sending your spirit at Pentecost. This day, I invite you to come into my life to change me, cleanse me, and fill me with your Holy Spirit. I now choose to follow your great plan for my life and make a difference to the world around me. In Jesus' name, I pray, amen. Yeah. Well, congratulations. If you prayed that prayer, either for the first time or as a recommitment to God, the Holy Spirit has answered. He's in your life, and you're never going to be the same again. Well, we're going to finish by celebrating that our God is mighty to save. Amen.